Welcome to our lesson for today. Today, we will be talking about exponents. So for our week 1, module 1, it's all about exponents and it's about integral and rational exponents. For our first part, we will be talking about integral exponents. So from the word itself, integral. So integer siya, ibig sabihin yung mga exponents na to, ito yung mga positive, negative, whole numbers. So bawal yung may mga square root, yung mga may points or fractions. Dapat whole number lang. So now let's proceed to our lesson. For the first one, we will be talking about zero power. So it is for any non-zero real number n, n raised to zero is equal to one. For example, meron tayong two is raised to zero. So automatically, any number, kahit ano pa yan, pag ni-raise mo sa zero, ang sagot ay one. So same here, you have 3x plus 2y. Kahit na meron pa siyang mga variables just like x and y, when you raise it to 0, it will automatically be 1 as well. And for the last one, we have 5x raised to the 0. So here, it can be 5 times 1. So when you multiply 5 and 1, you get 5. So, kahit variable pa si x, when you raise it to 0, it would be 1. And to explain that, we have our fourth example, which is g raised to 0 is equal to 1. You just have to make sure that the variable is not equal to 0. Kasi magiging 0 raised to 0 na siya, which is another number. So, any variable can be raised to 0 except when it is equal to 0. Next one, for our negative power, we have for any non-zero real number x and any positive integer n, x raised to the negative n is equal to 1 over x raised to n. So basically, ang sinasabi lang sa atin dito, kapag yung negative ang exponents, it's either you put them up or you put them down. So it's like getting the reciprocal of the number. So here you can see na negative n is at top and then kapag ginamit mo na yung negative power, mapupunta na si x sa baba. So x raised to n, magiging na siyang positive and not negative. So, for example, we have 2 raised to negative 2. So, nasa numerator si 2 raised to negative 2, ibababa natin siya to its denominator. So, it will now become 1 over 2 raised to 2. So, it's either that would be the answer or you would simplify it as 1 over 2 times 2 is 4. So the final answer could be 1 fourth as well. Now let's go to our second example which is 3 raised to negative 3 and 2 raised to negative 2. So papagbaliktarin rin nyo lang yung dalawa. So it will now become 2 raised to 2 and 3 raised to 3. Simplify. You now have 4 over 27. So it's 2 times 2 and then 3 times 3 times 3. And for the last example, the same thing, instead of a number, it's a variable. So itong variable natin na si x raised to negative 4, ibababa lang natin siya sa denominator, which would give us 1 over x raised to the 4th power. And you have to make sure that the value of x will not be equal to 0. Why? Because this would give you a fraction in the form of 1 over 0, which is an undefined number. For the next one, we have the power of quotient. 
So it is described as for any non-zero real number x and y and any positive integers a, a and b, x raised to the negative a over y raised to the negative b is also equal to y raised to b and x raised to a. And x over y raised to negative a is equal to x raised to negative a over y raised to negative a. So when you simplify it, it would become y raised to a over x raised to a. For example, you have 3 over 2 raised to the negative 2. So what you have to do is to switch. So instead of having 3 over 2, magiging 2 over 3 na siya. And from negative 2 na exponent, magiging positive na siya. After that, you distribute. So 2 raised to 2 and 3 raised, 3 raised to the second power. Simplify. So that would give you 4 over 9. Next one. We have what we call equal powers. So in equal powers, the two powers are equal if and only if they have equal bases and equal exponents. In symbols, x raised to the a power is equal to y raised to the b power if and only if x is equal to y and a is equal to b. So basically, ang sinasabi lang niya, magiging equal sila kapag kaparehas ang base, which is the number, and kapag equal din ang kanilang exponent. For example, we have 3 raised to the x power is equal to 81. So it's like finding the value of x. To find the value of x, if we factor out natin yung 81. So it would become 9 times 9. And then factorable pa yung 9 times 9. So you have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Simplify, you have 3 raised to the x power is equal to 3 raised to the 4th power. So, kita nyo naman that their bases are the same. They're both 3. Ibig sabihin, for it to become equal, kailangan parehas din si x at si 4. So, let's see. And because of that, we would equate x to 4. For this one, we have our product rule. So it states that for every non-zero real number a and positive integers m and n, a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So basically what this states is that kapag parehas yung base, what you have to do is just Add the exponents. So for example, we have x squared times x squared. So para sila ng base. So yeah, add nyo lang yung exponents. So you have x raised to the fourth power. One more example, 3 squared times 3 cubed. So same sila ng base. So you just have to add the exponents. So, you now have 3 raised to the 5th power. So, when you simplify that, it would give you 243. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. One more. So, if you're given something like this, so you have 2x squared and times y times 3xy squared. So, the first thing that you have to do, dahil hindi naman same yung number nila is, you have to multiply them. So, 3 times 2. And then, here you can see that what you need to do is just add the exponents ng mga may parehas na variable. So, x and x and then y and y. So, that would give us 2 plus 1 is 3 and then 1 plus 2 is 3. So, final answer would be 6. Kasi 3 times 2 
x cube y cube. Next one, we also have our power rule. So in power rule, it states that for any non-zero real number a and positive integers m and n, so take note they're positive, a raised to the m power and then the whole quantity raised to n is equal to a raised to the m times n. So yung kung kanina nag-add tayo, this time kapag may parenthesis siya, you multiply. For example, you have a squared, b squared, and then all naka parenthesis sa second power. So it's raised to the second power. So you multiply 2 times 2, 2 times 2. So that would give us a raised to the fourth power and b raised to the fourth power. Same thing goes with the next example. So as you can see, we have here our numerical coefficient. So meron na tayong number. So you just have to distribute the exponent. So negative 2 raised to the third power, x cubed and then y cubed. Simplify. So you have now negative 8, x cubed, y cubed. And for this one, you have your quotient rule. So quotient rule explains that for every non-zero real number a and positive integers m and n. So again, I kita nyo naman. So you have a raised to the m power and a raised to the n. So you have a raised to the m minus n. If m is greater than n, so mas malaki dapat si n. And then you have 1 over a raised to the n minus m if m is less than n. So mas malaki naman dito is si n. And then last one, 1 if m is equal to n. So equal silang dalawa. For example, we have 1 is x raised to the fourth power over x raised to the second power. So, mas malaki si m, which is why we would just subtract. So, 4 minus 2 will give us 2. And then, copy the base lang. So, x squared. Next one, pinagbaliktad naman. Mas malaki na si n sa baba. So, x squared over x raised to the fourth power. You subtract pa rin. So you have 4 minus 2, which is x squared. So instead of having the answer in the numerator, mapupunta na siya sa denominator. And for this one, you have your third example, which is x squared over x squared, which is equal to 1. So, bakit siya naging 1? Kasi, you would subtract 2 minus 2, which will give you 0. So, x raised to 0, yung unang rule natin, it would give you an answer of 1. Now, for the second part, let's talk about our rational exponents. So, here, under rational exponents, we now have our fractional values. So, you have to remember that you have to use x raised to the n, wherein the quantity is raised to 1 over n is equal to x. For n is not equal to 0 and the loss of exponents to simplify expressions with rational exponents. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nito? Basically, you just have to solve the equation. So, for this one, you have to compute. So, for example, you have number 1, 4 raised to the 1 half. And we know that 2 squared is also equal to 4. So, 2 squared raised to 1 half. So, yung rule natin kanina, nakapag this is the reciprocal of this one, it would give us the answer of just the value of x. So the answer for this equation is 2. So if you would like to use square root, that's also okay because 
one half is also known as the square root. So you have this square root. So square root of 4 is also equal to 2. So dun sa una nating solution, in-apply lang natin kung ano yung sinabi dun sa previous rule. Next one, you have 16 raised to 1 half. Same thing. So, 16 is 4 squared raised to 1 half is equal to 4. And then, how about this one? So, you have 9, A raised to the 6, B raised to the 10, all raised to 1 half. So, what do you have to do? So, dito na natin maha-apply yung mga rules na tatutunan natin kanina from the previous ones. So, what you have to do is distribute. So, you have 9 raised to 1 half, A raised to 6 times 1 half, and then B raised to 10 times 1 half. Simplify. This would be 3 squared raised to 1 half. So, A 6 times 1 half is 3. A raised to the third power, 10 times 1 half is 5. Simplify, it would give us 3 A cube B raised to the fifth power. So, when it comes to rational expressions, it's a mixture of what we did in integral to simplify the equations. For our last example, we have a challenging one. So you have a raised to 5 over 6 times a raised to 2 thirds all over a raised to the 1 half. So like what I said earlier, di ba kapag multiply and parehas ang base, you would just add the exponents. So that's 5 over 6 plus 2 thirds which is equal to 5 over 6 plus, so 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 2, 4, which is equal to 9 over 6, lowest term is 3 over 2. So, yung numerator natin, magiging na siyang a raised to 3 over 2 over a raised to 1 half. So, let's recall your rule kanina. Alin ang mas malaki? Is it the numerator or the denominator? So, as you can see, 3 over 2 is bigger than 1 half. So, we would subtract. So, m minus n. So, that's a. 3 over 2 minus 1 half. So, that would be equal to a. 3 minus 1. 2 over 2, or a raised to the 1, or simply a. So your final answer would be a. And that ends our lesson for today. So I hope that you learned something new. And if you have any questions, clarifications about the lesson, don't hesitate to ask. So. That will be all for today and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much.